Welcome to episode three, Getting Started with KiCad version nine. In the last episode, we started our schematic, and in this episode, we'll be creating a symbol. You don't have to make a symbol. You could use the provided one included in the libraries, but it's not that hard and this way you won't be afraid of doing it in the future. You can open the symbol editor from within the schematic editor right here or back in the project manager window like so. Notice the list on the left. These are the symbol libraries. We will add our own. Under file, hit new library, not add library. Add library is to add a library from somewhere else. If you only want this library to be available to this project, hit project. I always use global so I can use it for any project in the future. For the path, I like to use documents, KiCad tools, and symbol libraries. I'll add those folders. Use one underscore buzzers for your library name. Placing one underscore in front makes them stay at the top so you can easily find your custom libraries. Your new library should be at the top of the list and highlighted. If it isn't highlighted, click on it. This is how the symbol editor program knows what library you want your new symbol to be in. Now hit the new symbol button. In the new symbol box, enter buzzer for the symbol name. For the default reference designator, let's use BZ. Leave the rest and hit OK. We need to think about size. Too big or too small, and it will look silly next to our other symbols. But there's a rule that a KiCad librarian passed along to me. Put your pins 100 mils apart on a 100 mil grid. Make sure your symbol body is big enough to fit the pin labels. This matches all the other symbols. At the bottom, you can see our grid is set to 50 mils by default. Right-click anywhere on the canvas to change it to 100. Whatever you set your grid to in Symbol Editor, when you close it, the grid will be set to that the next time you open it up again. Remember the 100 mil rule for your pins. Now move your letters B, Z off to the side by hovering over it and hitting M to move or clicking on it and dragging it off to the side. The center of our crosshairs is zero, zero. When you move your cursor around, can you see the DX and the DY change at the bottom? Hit the draw pins tool. For pin name, we'll use a plus sign. Pin number one, electrical type, passive. Hit OK. Hit R to rotate twice to flip it around, or X one time. Click to place at DX 100 and DY negative 100. Click again to start the second pin. For pin name, we'll use the minus sign. For pin number, number two. Electrical type, passive. Notice that it keeps your choice from the first pin. It remembers your layout preference from the last pin, so you don't need to rotate it again. Click to place at DX 100 and DY 100. Now that our pins are spaced, Hit Escape to exit the Draw Pins tool and change the grid back to 50 mils. Select the Draw Lines tool on the right. Move your cursor to DX negative 100 and DY negative 150 and click once. Move down to DX negative 100 and DY 150 and double click to finish it. Click on the Draw Arcs tool Click on the top of the line and again on the bottom. Hit the escape key to switch back to the default select items cursor. Click to select the arc. Drag the dot from the right until it hits the line and makes a half circle like so. You can click on the library tree button to hide it from the viewer on the left side. With a pin selected in the properties window, change the number text size to 30 mils and the length to 88 mils. 
Now double click on the second pin. This is the second way to do the same thing. Hit M to move it to line them up with the half circle. Our grid helps it snap into place. Move your BZ reference designator in front of the buzzer. Change your grid back to 100 mil so your future self will thank you. Hit save and close the symbol editor. Now that you've created a simple symbol, anytime you want to learn more, far more, visit the site below. Click on schematic editor and you'll see the full reference manual that covers both the schematic editor and the symbol editor. In our next episode, you'll get to use your new symbol. See you soon.